Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This is Shy Dreams. Making a short tutorial here on how to add music to your Xbox emulator so you can have custom in game music for your games, the ones that at least support them. Um, we'll have a link in the description um, on a database which tells you with all games um, that do support it. Uh, they don't tell you how to work it, but I'm assuming it, it would be under the options, just like in my proof of concept video with the uh, ESPN. I did get to, you know, play a couple, you know, quick tracks or whatever, but this is the, you know, the tutorial. So we're going to go ahead and get started. So basically, we're going to follow these steps right here on the left. Uh, first one is you want to open up a command prompt as an administrator, which is kind of the same for everything. Or... Well, when I say everything, I mean like far as Windows machines. So basically, you can hit Windows R, bring it up, and then you know right click on it or type it in at the search. Right click, tell the administrator. However, you get to your administrative rights. Um, next, we want to change our loopback address from 127.0.1 um, to a IP address that the program can recognize so basically you can make that anything that you want or anything that's similar to your own um, like mine's is um, 0 0.1 is my gateway so I made this one 1 1.2222 so what you want to do is you want to type this net sh int ip you're going to add this address as the loopback address and then once you do that you hit enter um, I've already done it, so I'm not going to make a double entry. Now, I want to check to make sure that it is functioning. So then we would type this next uh, command in, which is the next SH. And it's going to show you all the devices on your system. But we're looking for the one that we did create, which in this case is 192.168.1.222. So it was successful. And then here's the IP address, and then basically this is our new loopback address. Um, you still have the 127, but it just looks at this one as well, too. It's just added as another device on the network. So next, we want to open up our um, Xbox emulator and go to the debug menu, and we're going to type this command in to get the X, so we can talk to the Xbox is what we're trying to do, or that's what we're trying to achieve. So, and here's my Xbox virtual hard drive. It is blank. As you can see, there's no music whatsoever. At least I can, there's nothing. So it's blank. But with this video, we're gonna change all that today. Okay, so let's get to it. Next, we wanna go to the debug tab here and go to monitor and then copy this command, which all these will be down in the description. You want to take it up to this where it says host forward. So basically we're going to forward all the communications to this IP address and we're going to use port 21. So copy and paste it in there, hit control V and you hit enter. Once this has been accepted, nothing up under it, that means we're good to go. So you can close this window. Next, you want to load up your dashboard. I mean, whatever, which one you want to use. I did notice that Xbox Media Center, I couldn't get it to work. Um, I was having problems with the FTP, like the program would connect, then it would disconnect. Then I would get like corruption errors. So I just use Evo X, it seems to be the simplest. So just click it, it'll load. You can actually close this window. Next, we want to open up the FTP program. Looks like I probably need to update. Um, we'll go here. We can actually click Site Manager. And you can see here is the 192.168.1.222. The password is the standard password. Username and password is Xbox Xbox. And we'll just hit the Connect button. 
Oh, you can tell it's 21, too. This will to connect. And as you can see, it doesn't support a few things, but you just click OK and keep going. OK. Next thing you want to do, you want to FTP over this STDB file. As you can see, um, it is blank. So it has no file size. There's nothing in it. So you want to take it to your E drive, and then you want to go to T. This is basically, if it's a brand new hard drive, this is the only thing that's going to be under your your folder. And you want to take this all the way to music, and then you want to upload this database to that folder. So that's basically it for FileZilla. You can close that. You probably will never be going back in there, not unless you got something else you want to, you know, upload. Uh, the next thing you want to do is you need to if you already have WMA files, I say go over to the um, Xbox Wiki. Let's see, where is it? Okay, here it is. And you want to go to Soundtracks. This gives you a breakdown of what's in the ST database, which in this case, in ours is blank. So, I mean, it's, it'll generate all the stuff that you need once you um, start writing to it. But if you already have WMAs and they fit this this standard right here, then you should be fine. You don't have to go to the next step. You can skip past, but we're going to go straight through it though. So next, what we want to do is go and get a program that will convert. If you have MP3s and you want to convert them over to WMA, then this will be the program for you, which will be down in the description as well too. But there's a few things that you have to do to the file um, that I did notice. Um, I did try to convert a couple and I left basically all the tags um, on the MP3s. And then when I tried to play, they lock up. So I was like, well, I guess that's just a, a no go. So what I found to be the simplest way is you go to general settings and then you want to go down to job list. And as you see, all this stuff here is check, uncheck all of these. You want to take them all off. Because if you don't and you convert the file and you upload it, it's going to lock your emulator up and you'll have to basically start all over again. So, I mean, save yourself the hassle. Just uncheck them all. Um, the file name will be on the Xbox. So. I mean, that's a good thing. Not unless, I mean, you can try to play around, maybe add artists or maybe add title. I mean, I, I didn't go through each one to try to see which one made it locked up. So I just took them all off myself. So, I mean, I kind of know the song. So then you move over, you slide it over, you pick your songs that you're going to use. In this case, we're going to go to, let's see, downloads music and then here's my mp3 folder the ones that I picked out so you'll highlight them all drag and drop and they're all in the list but remember I unchecked everything so we're not gonna see anything in this list so next you want to hit the play button which is here which is the encode button and you hit play and then, I mean, well, you probably would want to set up where you want it to go, um, which is the output folder was in the G folder, which that's where we are here, which here are the files. Here are the WMAs. So you can actually close this program once you get through, and then you want to move over to the next program, which is the soundtrack editor, which now this is the fun part. We almost at the end. I think I'm probably close to 10 minutes. I'm doing good, y'all. So you want to hit the connect button. Put your loopback address, whichever one you decide to use, or this is the default one that I use for this particular tutorial. Um, once again, the username and password is Xbox Xbox. And then you want to hit OK. And it says it's receiving and it's downloading. Because remember that the STDB is blank. So the trick with this is, is that you have to add a soundtrack. So you could just be like, this is a test. And 
and then tell it okay. Okay, it said it created it. Clearly, it didn't create it. So what you want to do is you want to disconnect, and then you want to reconnect. Tell it okay. Now you want to go back in, and then you can tell it. So I can be like shy dreams. If I smell my own name right, that's crazy. C H I. <laughs> and we'll say 28 just to put it on there. And there we go. So, next step is now you want to right click over here in this box here. I'm sorry, let's see. You want to add a track. But in this case, we don't want to, we want to add several tracks. So we'll go back to the G drive and then go back to downloads and then music. And here are all the tracks that we just created. And if you notice, it still has some of the stuff, but you want to select them all and you want to tell it to open. And as you can see, they're adding, they're uploading to the list right now. I mean, it just depends on, you know, how big, you know, the size is. Okay, so now we have them all listed. So once you done that and basically that's it that's the end of the tutorial you hit the disconnect button hit exit go back to your Xbox emulator you want to eject the disk and tell it to restart now you can go back to your music and look we have shy dreams I wonder what's in there now we can go to play For real. I know you just get I ain't gonna lie. But I got a question. Can you get yourself off my mind? So as you can see, it does play. Um, I hope this video helped out for everybody. Um, as far as the game list, um, like I said, I will leave a link down in the description. They do have a site here where it tells you basically all the games that do support this feature. Um, I will test one out, but I did do it one earlier, and then I just played all that music, so really don't want to get that content strike thing that they have, and it's like you playing other people's music that's not yours, but if you have any questions, please leave a comment down in the description, or you can jet over to the Reddit page, or send me an email, because I do have my email listed. You know, I'm just, I'm here to help. Right? The, the whole idea is like, if you... You know, it's like I want everybody to share this same type of, you know, this one big community thing. So, um, like I said before, you know, it's like any help that you need. And if I can, you know, I'll do what, you know, the best of my abilities to try to help you, you know, get up and running. So, um, I guess that's kind of like the end of the video. I guess that's enough rambling. Oh, yeah, by the way, I mean, we made it to 405 people. I'm very, very ecstatic. Um, I really was putting forth, you know, that effort trying to drop a video, trying to drop a video. And then, you know, my job changed a little bit to whereas now I have more responsibility. So it's like 
it's, I'm still on the Reddit page. I'm still going to drop videos. This will probably be the last one for this year um, because I do have um, some traveling I have to do for work. But needless to say, um, I look forward to seeing everybody next year. You know, happy holidays and all that good stuff. And you know what? Man, I'm just really, really overjoyed. But thank you for watching this video. Like, comment, subscribe. All that good stuff. All right, y'all take it easy. Peace.